Hey there, it's Mark. Here I have a Hot Wheels Advent Calendar. There's 24 different cubbies for you to open up. It already tells you that it comes with eight of the riveted cars. What? Eight riveted? No, that shadow is just riveted. There's eight different cars inside. This is not something I would normally buy for myself. This is more of a gift for somebody. But one year, actually since this is a 2018 box set, I know that I got this in early January 2019. Yeah, it was 50% off. Actually, when I took it to the register, it was already 75% off. So I got this for about $8 with tax. There's Riveted again. It's pretty cool. You open it up. There's little punch outs, little cubby holes. And I, this might have been the first year to where they had this decoration here. So you can have a racetrack. Here you can see it was copyright 2018 Mattel, made in Malaysia, contents, eight cars and 16 accessories. Oh yeah, something else. You see this? It's a stand. So the back, you can see the perforations. So you can punch out this part right here. And then that'll make a nice little stand. This way when you unbox this, now there's, there's 24 days. You, you're supposed to do one per day but it's up to you if you want to do them all at once or not. Before I cut the seal, let's take a look at some of the cars that are on the front. You have two over here on the left. Those two would be F1 Racer. I think that's F1 Racer. And then on the right in purple, that looks like Carbide, racing around in the snow. In green, that's Diesel Boy. In blue, we have Bedlam. That red car in the garage is Torque Screw. Over here, a couple more cars. In green, that's Midnight Auto. And in blue, that's Rip Rod. These must be some of the fun accessories that are inside. It's not very neat. It might open up more neatly if I start with that little punch out right there. Let's try that. Careful. That yeah, worked out pretty good. It's hard to see the lines. Oh, no, look. I, oh, man. I tore across one of the lines. Uh, next time, I'm just going to use my knife and cut along here. Kids, this is something for an adult to help you with, okay? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> that was not easy to do, but I messed up. Remember, I messed up this side. That was not easy to do. Uh, I won't be keeping the box anyways. I think some of you might be doing it and then just keeping the racetrack. Well, that cardboard stand in the back did not work for me, so I cut off my track, and I'll display the cars on it later on. I'll just open it up like this. Here we go, number one. Oh, we got a car, RD08. Number two. Hmm, what is this? Number three. Hey, we got another car. That's, that's the one that was in the front. Remember that one? It was next to Carbide. This one's F Racer. Number four. No, that's 14. Oh, no, 24. Uh, where number? There we go, number four. It's way on top of the house. Hmm, where's the, where's the folding spot? Is it this whole thing? Oh, there we go. Oh, we have a little snow ramp. Number five. There we go, number five. Hmm, where's the punch hole? Oh, this one's tiny. This one's tiny, so it can't be a car, that's for sure. Orange. 
Oh, got a little cone. That's nice to have around a racetrack. Number six. There we go. Might be another small one. Let's see. Oh, it might be big enough for a car. Sure enough. Come on out. Rev rod. Number seven. Hey, we have a little reindeer. Number eight. Hmm, another accessory. Number nine. You don't think it'd be, do you? That would be nice if it was number nine. Sure enough, torque screw with the number 18 on the side. They could have made that number 18 too. That was number nine. Now we need number 10. Oh, the, the cardboard's right underneath the punch hole. And I was off camera, silly goose. 11. Oh. Nice. It's a button. It has a little hook for you to clip it onto your shirt or wherever. 12. Oh, another car. This one is called Midnight Auto. 13. Oh, Christmas tree, drag racing Christmas tree, 14, hey, we got another reindeer, we'll compare the two after I open everything up, 15, way up in the corner, another snow accessory, Oh, look at that. There's two curves. I wonder what that's for. 16, right in the middle of the tree. I wonder what it's going to be. It's a bit of a, a wider spot. Let's see. Look how wide it is. Wide enough for a car, but you never know. Hey, diesel boy. Seventeen. Now it's back to small pieces. Another cone. Eighteen. Oh, someone's taking a nap. Hey, turn around. How you doing? Nineteen's a pretty big spot. It's this whole area right here. Yay! We have a Christmas tree. Number 20. Hmm, maybe? Yes! Bedlam! Twenty-one. Just a few more. Another accessory. Twenty-two. Oh, perfect. I need one of these for the cars. Oh, look, it's a, a gas pump, a fuel pump. Has a Christmas hat on top. Twenty-three is next. Where's the hole? Oh, hey, the snowman's asleep too. Turn around, Bubba. Turn around. There you go. There it is, right in the middle, number 24. 
Happy holidays, just like that button. Let's give it a push. Oh, another car. There's that carbide. That's all 24. Let's have a look at the cardboard that they use for the insert. Just to make sure, who knows, maybe the, it'd be kind of cool if another part fell in there somewhere. You'd want to you'd want to double check before you threw this away, right? I don't know if it's glued together or if it's just sitting there. Nope, just sitting in there. There you go. Nothing special. Hmm. Cardboard. You might be able to recycle it. I'll give you a nice close-up of everything that was in the box right after this break. You know, I showed you this and I called it a button because in the old days and even in reissues, they had a thing right here to where you can clip it on your shirt or wherever. Well, guess what? They, they give you the button, but where's the clip that goes right here? Either I didn't get it or they don't have it attached anymore. I don't know. Maybe you just like it for display. Here you have carbide, multi-pack, exclusive color. They've been doing uh, carbide in the multi-pack exclusive. I think they've had a few exclusive colors now for carbide. Or, or I should say maybe five packs and stuff. It doesn't show up in the singles that much anymore. Carbide, part of, uh, was carbide in accelerators? Nope, it was not in accelerators. My mistake. You want to check out the reindeers? Both of the reindeer, not reindeers, both of the reindeer are the same. Pretty nice. They hook into this harness, which allows them to pull a car like a sleigh. They hook in real easily. Just pops right in. I like the straps right there. Hot Wheels logo. And there you go. It just holds onto the car right there in the middle of the wheel. The wheels actually pop down a little bit. They hang down. But I don't think I don't think they roll. Only the back wheels roll. But you can scoot it along. That's what it's for. Have fun with your cars. Play with your cars. Here we have another car that was shown on the box. This car we hardly see at all anymore. This one's F1 Racer. It has a driver. There's not a lot of Hot Wheels cars that have drivers sitting in the seat. Let's check out Midnight Auto as well. Nice flames. They have them starting here coming out. Now this is a hood, but the hood doesn't flip open like this. It actually flips sideways like this. Here's your two lines for the hoods. This would open up to the top. Right there, you see in the middle, that's where it would fold. There you go, Midnight Auto. Here comes Bedlam. Excuse me, sir, you gotta go. If you notice, this is crooked. It's landed to the side. That's because if it was pushing snow off of the road, you want to push the snow off the road. And that's why it's at an angle. Now, if you live in an area where you get snow, you already know that. But not everybody in the world lives where there's snow. And this is another one to where it hooks on the wheels. So you got to scoot it. It does, it does not roll on its own. By the way, check this out. If you go back up, hello. Yep, hook onto the wheels. Give him a scoot, would you? There you go. Torque twister. No, nope. torque screw. I almost messed up. Torque twister. That's somebody else. Now comes on this sleigh or sled. And guess what? It has wheels. So when you put your car in here, this one you can roll. It doesn't scoot because it's got wheels on it already. I used torque screw, torque, uh, torque screw because it was wide right here. Some of the cars are kind of narrow. Nope, this is a good one. Carbide. Carbide's kind of narrow. So I could have used carbide, carbide, but it would have been loose. But torque screw is kind of wide. And if you try to put white uh, torque screw in this one, it wouldn't fit. It was really hard to get me to pinch it in between. Here you have Diesel Boy. This one kind of cool. This one uh, just in the front. But again, you have to scoot it. It does not have wheels. I don't know if you've seen Diesel Boy. Let's take a look at the top. Very unique for a uh, model. It was in some video games too, I do believe. Now it's time for Rev Rod. 
Notice how this one has treads on it. I attach this one to the back because this is going to push your car as this spins around. It's pushing your car. You need the front wheels to steer this one. Put it on the front because I would think that if you were to be turning your wheels, you'd have to imagine that you'd be able to steer your car. Now we'll get a close up on the accessories. Let's take a look at the characters first. I like the snowman. I like how the parts pop out through the snow. The eyes, the nose, the button up. Mm, buttons? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the two arms. Look at the color. Really nice color. It's a metallic blue. Yet these eyes are the same way. It's a different part. That's not painted. Or at least it doesn't appear to be. Same with the hands and feet. Nice color. Separate parts. The Christmas tree or holiday tree has these separate parts right here. You can see the tree trunk. The only thing, this one tips over a little bit easy. The fuel pump has a nice base, stands up very nice. And again, these are all separate parts. Whoa, that one? Yeah, those are all separate parts. The only thing, the tree has a little trunk. Tips over kind of easily. I gave you a close-up of the drag racing Christmas tree, but we'll go ahead and take a quick look at it before. Again, normally this would be red, yellow, 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 and then it goes green. And then that's when you take off. I'm pretty sure that's the order that it goes. Oh, that's kind of skinny too. <laughs> you know what the traffic cones are for. That's why they're called traffic cones, right? And here is your little ramp. I don't know what this for is on the side. Does this fit? No, too big. It's not for you. Let's go ahead and get a car. I just figured out what that's for. Because you know what, if I were to push this, it would probably hit the snow ramp and just push it back. Unless I had a spot for my finger. Ready? Go. Need more oof. More oof. Oof. Wipe out. Carbide, show them how it's done. There you go. All these cars were not available in the singles. They are called multi-pack exclusive colors. They were found in multi-packs like this. In the nine packs though, this car that's in the color is exclusive to the nine packs. You don't see these in any of the other packages. You won't find these in singles or nine packs. No, 10 packs, 20 packs. They are exclusive to the nine packs. This is the 73 Pontiac Firebird. And you can see the Firebird logo on the hood. That's exclusive to the nine packs. And that's why it says it's exclusive right here. This one though, is not exclusive to the nine packs. This Datsun 620, this was in a regular Hot Wheels single, but this car right here, Track Hammer, that is an exclusive color to the multi-packs. The reason I picked this pack for myself is, wow, it had a lot of real cars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of the nine were real cars, but that's a pretty nice fantasy model right there. If you didn't know, fantasy means Mattel made that car. It's, it's not a real car. Well, Bone Shaker is a real car, but it, it was a toy car first, then they made it into a real car. But it's, it's fantasy. It's a Hot Wheels creation. It's not a car that you can just buy. That Bone Shaker, by the way, yes, exclusive to multi-packs. But between you and me, it's in the 2020 Advent Calendar 2. Below it, the 70 Mustang Mach 1. I think it's 70 Mustang Mach 1. Yeah, that's a fan favorite. Multi-pack exclusive color. Here's a couple real nice real cars. On top in black, you have the 17 Acura NSX. And below it in blue, Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. 17 Ford GT, one of my favorite cars to collect. Well, the Ford GT. Not so much the 17 Ford G. Is, this one's not my favorite Ford GT. It's all right. I like it. But I do love the Ford GT. And below it, there you have a Mattel Hot Wheels fantasy car. That's Track Ripper. Exclusive to the multi-packs. Not only was this a great pack because it has six real cars, it also was almost all multi-pack exclusive colors. This was the only one that was available in the singles. All the others, you have to buy a multi-pack or find them in a track set or play set. 
These are definitely more for kids, but I had fun. Okay, if you'll excuse me, I gotta check my YouTube subscription feed. Have fun. Bye-bye.